all set? Yeah. All right. Are you guys all set? <laughs> so, um, hey guys, I'm Steven Rodriguez. And um, my topic is malnutrition in Guatemala. And my purpose today is to tell people and inform them on what malnutrition is and what they can do to help people who are suffering from malnutrition. First of all, malnutrition is a disease that occurs when body, when the body lacks nutrients, which means like vitamins and stuff like that. It's caused by unba unbalanced diets and problems with digest digestion and absorption and lack of food. An unbalanced diet would consist of just junk food or just eating like tortillas all day and not eating meat and stuff. And um, problems with digestion would mean like someone who's always having trouble digesting food would have this because they wouldn't get the nutrients that they need to support their body. And a lack of food, that's just horrible because it would like mess up everything because you don't eat anything. So you wouldn't, you will have malnutrition if you don't eat. One of the main reasons that people suffer from malnutrition in Guatemala is because they lack nutritious food and they don't have access to it. For example, everybody needs their daily dose of grains, vegetables, fruits, meats, and dairy products, and sometimes junk food, because it's just right. Um, another reason is because of the low income and environmental factors. Um, that there's, in Guatemala, there's a high economic inequality. There's a high gap in rich and poor. For example, there's a lot of rich people and a lot of poor people, but no people in between. So um, that affects it because the poor people can't have, they can't buy food. So they'll have um, a bigger chance of being malnourished. There's also a lot of unemployment, which will cause a lot of people. And then there was a recent drought in 2009, September. They um, a lot of crops were damaged, and um, the prices on food rose. This is a bad thing because people who used to um rely on the crops to eat and buy buy things can't talk right now. They um lost a lot of crops, so it was hard for them to um sell, and they had trouble. Um, also, malnutrition causes a lot of physical disabilities. For example, these kids here, you can see the ribs. They look like they can barely walk. And they certainly have a lack of energy because they don't eat, right? One of the diseases is stunted growth. This is a disease that it makes you, like you don't grow as much as you can or supposed to grow because of the lack of food. This is caused by lack of nutrients and unbalanced diets, and it becomes worse with increasing age. This picture right here shows a bunch of nine-year-olds in Guatemala, Nine. and this line up here is the um, average size of a nine-year-old. And as you see, most of them are under the line because they are malnourished. Other problems are anemia, which is when your body, I mean, your blood lacks iron, and this can make you feel weak and lack energy. Diabetes is when your body lacks, um, I mean, when your blood has a lot of sugar and um, there's underweight. That's just being underweight like that kid over there. You can see his bones. And that's bad because it's bad. You can die from that. <laughs> there's also mental disabilities problems with the brain. There are mental effects, which is low mental growth, because during the first thousand days of the, of the child being born, they have to be well nourished, because if they're malnourished, it can cause many other problems, like mental retardation, which is causes the child to, be, to have disabilities with the brain. Mental slowness, which um, will affect them in reading and talking, for example, stuttering, that's when a person talks, but has trouble letting go of words because of their brain. 
And then there's mental delay, like hearing and speaking. By speaking, I mean stuttering again. And then um, solutions. There's international food aid, like pumpina over there, and golden rice. I'm gonna start with golden rice. It is a jam-packed rice filled with nu nutrients and vitamin A. And vitamin A helps prevent AIDS, and also it will help like, like prevent blindness. Then there's bumpy nut, which is a peanut buttery paste that children love. It has every nutrient that a child needs to grow up well and be healthy. And what can you do? You can donate to helping organizations, for example, UNICEF, um, Action Against Hunger, and Hunger Organization. They um, These three organizations, they collect money around the world, and they um, use it to support countries that need money to nourish children. And then, here's my work safe page.